Let's kick off this lesson by going to our old friend, our project, Editing 101. Now I've got Premiere open, Premiere Elements, but I don't have that project open. But I have opened it recently, so I'm going to go up to the word File on the pull-down menu and go down to Open Recent Projects, and here it is. Now remember, it's in our working folder for this chapter in the Bike Projects folder. It's called Editing 101. Go ahead and open that up. The majority of our time in Premiere will be spent in the expert mode. But don't forget we have this too. It's called Quick. There's a difference between the two, obviously, or they wouldn't be there. First thing to remember, you are not working on two projects. You are working on one single project with two possible views of the project. Now, if we go back to Expert, for example, and come into our assets, Let's just do something like this. I'm going to drag Dirt Bike down here and stick it on video one. And I'll bring, well, let me do this. Let me pull that up a little bit. And I'll take Kids Bikes and put that on video two. Snap them together. Scroll back down just a little bit. Pick up a audio and put that on my soundtrack. I'm going to also do this. I'm going to get right at the separation between these two areas, the monitor. Let me highlight that for you right here. See my cursor change? Let me make this area smaller. And correspondingly, let me close this up too. In expert mode, you have three, count them three, separate video tracks, three audio tracks, a narration track, and a soundtrack. And we're utilizing two video tracks and one soundtrack right now. If we take this thing into quick view, just one. One video track, everything we've done is right here, and our audio is down here. So one of the things about quick is it consolidates things. It makes things simpler. One of the reasons you want to go to quick is because you want it quick. Makes sense, doesn't it? In other words, you've got a simple video and a simple audio, and you stick them together, and you want to put them out there, and you don't need the complexity. That's what quick is for. We go back to Export again. If I right-click my mouse in the timeline, I can add more tracks. I can add up to 99 more tracks, and I think you can actually add more if you've got a lot of RAM memory. Now, why would you need that many? I'm not saying you need 99, but if you do compositing, you're doing a lot of green screening kind of stuff, you're doing picture in picture, there's a lot of things that require a lot of tracks. That's another reason why Expert is probably used a whole lot more than Quick. A couple of other differences here. Let me pull that back down. If we go into quick mode, we have all the stuff down here. If we go into transitions, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got nine transitions in total. If we go to expert and go to transitions, we have something like a dozen or so different categories of transitions. If we go back to quick mode again, quick view actually, and go into effects, we have something like, and you can make these bigger, we have something like about 20 effects. And that's all, just 20 effects. If we go into expert mode and go into effects, we've got something like 22 categories of effects. You have more stuff here, but with more control comes more responsibility. There's more to do here. There's more things we can accomplish. But that does not mean that quick view is not important. It's important if you just want to get it out there on YouTube or just stick it out on your website. You don't want to do it fancy. You just want it out there. That's why we have a quick view. But don't forget, it's not two different projects. It's the exact same project being viewed two different ways, expert and quick.